Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Europa Universalis 4, and this is episode 16 of our Big Blue Blob playthrough of the Millennium of Making game. We are, as the name gives away, France. And we are at war with Great Britain and Persia. We're going to buy this land of opportunity idea. So that's tax and settler increase. Tax because we've got a states general. Settler increase because, uh, well, that's what we bought. Nice and easy. That should help our colonies get a bit better. Just one Fars. Excellent. So we might as well go on to Hamas and take that one as well. I mean, no big deal, right? So I should take this army back over to Egypt, where it should be. And the fight in England itself is absolutely amazing. This is our new province just down here, so that's building fairly swiftly. Good. Now, last episode we had a royal marriage with Delhi. We're going to actually get out of that because it is completely fucking worthless at this stage in time. So when we do have a diplomat to send, which we do right now, thank you and thank you, break, done. Now what I do want to do is just take a moment, look around India, and check just the offer vassalization ones. What we're trying to avoid is where it says Delhi has more than 40 total base tax. And also has subjects of its own apparently. Hmm. Well, Arabia would totally accept being a vassal. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, if we could get their relationship up there, which we can't at this point in time. But the Indian ones we can because, well, they don't really have any reason to distrust us. Essentially. So Gujarat could be one. Kasala, Kanata will not. They've definitely got more than 40 base tax. Maharashtra, yep. Let's try Gujarat. Yeah, let's try Gujarat out. Dynastic actions. Okay, so we're going to need to put somebody in there and improve their relation with us a little bit. They're allied with Persia, Kanata, and Kasala, so getting them on hand will weaken Persia, which is always good. Okay, we just took Yorkshire, so let's handle these losers who are trying to steal our sieges. Norway has made a big fucking mistake. <laughs> Norway has just given us a Cassus Belli against them. Oh my dear god, Norway, you fools. Up to the Highlands boats. Where were our other boats? Ah, oh, up there, right, I remember. Assisting. As soon as we get out of this, we're declaring war in Norway and taking the Shetlands. It's like, of course, of course that's what we're going to do. You fucking morons. Why would you do that? That's amazing. Yeah, no. Okay, good, we got our dude back. Let's just see if improved our relationships down here enough. We have not. We're not going to be able to ally anybody while we're in war. Uh, some Persian peasants rose up. That's fine. I don't care about Persian peasants. We might be able to give Turkestan some more land as well. I'm enjoying Turkestan because, you know, they're our buddies. And they're Luddlefingers. So we've got a good chance that, you know, we'll do alright with Persia. Siege of Aberdeen is done. That's the war goal. These guys tried to evade us. Nope. Okay, get rid of Kuno. He's no longer needed in that army. I'm going to put him in this army, though. Because now that we have a free diplomat, uh, this force here. Can't believe they blockaded us. That is just fucking moronic. 
I mean, they can't do much, but seriously, guys. Why would you do that? I couldn't attack you without taking like a minus two stability hit. It's just fucking amazing. I mean, seriously. I mean, now you're just proper fucked. Yeah, show superiority. Yeah, of course that's what we'll be doing. Okay, where's our force? Land. How are we doing over here in Persia? So yeah, it's all fine. Guy's home from Norway. Of course he is. We're going to lose one stability, but we can either get a bit more discipline on land force limits or morale. We should have plenty of discipline at this stage. Uh, get a bit more. Only at plus one. Hmm. Yep, and now we're just going to slowly take that place. Can't believe they actually decided that was a good fucking idea. Ah, perfect. I'm gonna let them get into Fars and probably hit from there. Norway would like to concede defeat. <laughs> Dipshits. Guy's home from Volga, Bulgaria, so let's get him back there. Um, probably claim on Tambov. Yep, go for it. And that's the Siege of Norfolk done, so that should be 100%. Perfect. Get him out of there. Thank you. Uh, you guys can get out of there as well. I'm gonna send you around here because we are going to have our Egypt war at a moment. Let's do peace, Britain. So what I want is that. 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 Overextension is going to be the real killer here, I feel. Yes, yeah, so that's already 100% overextension. Um... I'll let Kopetar go back to Turkestan. Is there anything that I can give to Turkestan here? Khorasan? That's over now. I don't want to release Hamadan. Because it's just that little province of they'll just eat him straight back up. Uh, no chances there. What about if I take that out? Because they can always get that back later. 97%, 100% overextension. Not great, but you know, we can deal with that. Done. Thank you. This army loses their conquistador and gets the fuck out of dodge. Excellent. Okay, how are we looking over here? Good, good, good. That army's heading back there. I need to reduce this overextension now. Fuck me. Did you guys take that? I bet they did. Yeah. They must have just taken it. You pricks. You utter pricks. God. I'm glad I've got them as reduced as I have before they actually finished up, because that's fucking insane. Still, that'll be done in a year's time. Great Britain is not a valid rival. We've lost our claims there, that's fine. We still have a rival slot, we do not. It's okay. These guys are not ready to royal marriage yet. But we did just get our conquest cast spell out against Arabia. Uh, go again, again on Benias. Thank you. Heretic scum. Yeah, so 
I don't think Norway have any ships left, so I am going to just take the fleet, the proper fleet portion of this, and put it down here in Egypt as well, or near Egypt. Fucking coring costs. Utter bullshit, that's what that is. Alright guys, you, I need you to come down here and sort of just patrol along here till you find everything that you can possibly find. Then you can head back up to Cape Verde. Volga Bulgaria have finally uncovered that we're taking their shit. Finally. We'll get there, Gujarat. We will get there. Truce with Egypt expires in December. Uh, probably gonna have to wait a little bit beyond that because of this overextension bullshit. God, why is Leinster taking two years? Well, because we've lost a claim on it, somehow, instantly. Pricks. Just lost 50 diplomatic power for uh, reasons. Presumably because we have 100% overextension. That would be my understanding of it. Just gonna quickly send these guys out here just to get a little bit of visibility. And these boats can come back into the highlands. Let's see if the boats can go into the Shetlands. They'll be fine. Do we still have claims on everything in Egypt? They took it as well, you fucking pricks! Ah! Oh. Norway would like to concede defeat, Norway can suck a dick. Hmm, I wonder. Norway don't have that annoying coring bullshit. They do. Well, Norway, I've got a better idea for you. Instead of annexing you fully, Mm, but they're only 4% overextension. It's a shitty little province of, what, one base tax. It won't cost much even with the increased coring. Uh, we could get Copper Bottoms. We're a little bit out from getting our next level of military tech, so I think Copper Bottoms are the way to go. Done. Heretic scum. Ah, excuse me. Ah, perfect. Good work, lads. Now get back before somebody hurts themselves. Very aggressive natives out here. Yeah, it looks like everywhere is just taking the fucking coring costs because they're being bitches. That's very aggravating, to be honest. Very aggravating. I wonder. How much base tax do you have, England? 2.5. Fucking 
aristocratic idea. Bullshit. Oh, looks like we're losing vessels. Yep, fair enough. Maybe they'll get home. Maybe. Probably not. No, they're all dead. Well, that has opened up a new slot for a new dude. But it is one that we will just make an explorer because, well... We need explorers. Explorers are cool. Unfortunately, that does mean that we need to make some new ships. Ships, ships, ships. I wish I make some heavy ships for them. Yeah, why not? We make some f five heavy ships or so. Change things up a little bit. Maybe they'll last longer. I don't know. A man can dream. It is very close. I think once we get Cape Verde, we'll be able to get uh, Fernando Po. Oh, come on, this is killing me. Where's he coming back from? Kazan. Alright. Send a new guy out, and I think this one would be for Borisoglebsk. Off you go, lad. They took the fucking core and cost as well. You shits. Just everybody takes aristocratic ideas. It's such a bad idea group as well. I mean, yeah, cavalry's a bit better. That's just purely a fuck you. There's nothing good about it. Nothing good about it. I think the AI just takes it to be all like, oh, you want to expand? Well, fuck you, take longer. There is probably a fairly simple way to stop them from doing it. Um, I know you can influence which idea groups other nations take by, by through your actions, but ain't nobody got time to work that shit out. Yeah, you know, certainly not me. Um, okay, you guys just head up here. I just want to do a little bit more scouting. Little foray. Oh, fucking increased coring cost bullshit. That's very aggravating, especially for a large nation like Volga Bulgaria is now. Ah, oh, Gujarat, you're looking pretty nice there. Would you like to be... Ah, oh, it's very close. Very close. I'll bribe you. <clears throat> I will totally bribe you. Who are your enemies? Maharashtra and Malwa. Hmm. Unfortunately, they're both allied with Turkestan. Who are my bros? Okay, our Egyptian truce has expired. Uh, let's see, what have we got here? I want to support the um, Florentine school, which will give us plus one prestige for a while. We don't need it. We'll lose five prestige, I don't care. Fuck it. Egypt, take the fucking core and cost thing. No. Good. Pricks. And now I'm just annoyed. Ah, yeah. Ah, they must have moved capitals? No? Okay, why is it still an option then? Whatever. Q. 
Come on. You know what? I can declare this war right now. Um, we can just get on with it. And... Things will be fine. Yeah, if we just get on with it. Who are you allied to? Egypt, you're allied to Persia and Mali. Persia should not be able to join in. He confidently claims. Turkestan and Mauritania will join. Uh, the goal will be to take Cairo because that'll be easy, and off we go. Okay, you down to there, you down to there, thank you very much. Who else is joining? Mali has joined and taken over. Persia has actually managed to join in this war. As a separate entity, which is going to be fucking hilarious. Basically because that means that uh, we'll be able to piece them out separately now. Very good. Very good. Mali being in charge is annoying, but... Well, what can you do? Not much. Yeah, their troops just totally don't match up. We could use that to take Kayor off off Mali. Do Mali have those damned... No, they don't. Yeah, we could use that to take Kaor off Mali. I'm going to need these boats down here. What's the supply limit in Kaor? One. Eighteen. Yeah, well, these guys, then. Take your time traveling, boys. There we go. We've dealt with some of our overextension risk. Oop. Let us establish a penal colony in Unamakic. We would lose 10 administrative power. We'll get 4... 25 years, plus 3 revolt risk, but also plus 10 local settler increase. We don't really need that. Just lose the power. So these guys there and then back there. So what do we got there? The Micmac. The Micmac are not associated with anybody, so we should be able to kill them. When we get around to it. When we get around to it. Kind of hoping that Mauritania can deal with most of Mali's bullshit. going now. Oh, they're just going to sit in Hamadan, are they? That's cool. That's cool. I'm going to go over to um, Azerbaijan and we'll try and double team them. Oh, that's annoying. We did just breach the walls, so that siege might only take a little bit. Norway, piss off. I'm not letting you go. Rebel scum. Thank you. I should actually peace out with Norway right now because we have lost our overextension down to 32%. Norway! You're mine. Thank you. Forty. <sighs> Jesus. I mean, yes, okay, fine, but damn. Fucking aristocratic ideals. Ah, oh, good, our boats are there. Uh, conquistador, he's still conquisting. Good, can we get rid of him? We can, beautiful. So I want him in this army here. We 
might also be able to give Copet Dog back to Turkestan. That would be good. Got a whole lot of things that are good about this particular war. Oh, looks like the Mauritanians actually chased out the guys from Mali. Okay, land those troops real quick. Then I'll park the boats in uh, Cape Verde. Siege of Barker, lovely. Allies got that one happening, so we'll head on over to Tripoli. Perfect. 6th of June, 26th of May. So they're going to have to wait about 10 days or so. June 6th of June, 1, 2, 3, 4, there we go. Ah, oh, good, Sherba is fine, so, yeah, you know what, you guys can just fuck off back home. You're not needed. Hmm, that might be a tough fight. Well, I don't really care too much about Mali itself. Got Aberdeen, that's good. Okay, where are we fabricating on in Volga Bulgaria next? Penza? Sure. Uh, can we get Nogue? Yes, we can. Yeah, that'd be good because that'll give us a direct line to Turkestan because we are planning on eventually pressing a claim in Turkestan when the opportunity comes up. Thank you. Need to just filter out some of these dudes to stop them from dying of attrition. And there's our war goal. Beaut. You can sit on that, it'll be fine. You guys lose your commander, thank you. Whoops. Uh, hmm. Better give these guys a commander and just send them in to. I guess Yazd, sure. Very nice. So now we're just waiting on the god awful Leinster and the Shetlands. Leinster mainly. Ah, good, our fleet here is together. Give them our explorer. Yes, it will definitely be piecing Persia out by itself. We're just able to do that. There, guys, if you want to take your army and, like, go and deal with that, that'd be fine. Then I wouldn't have to babysit you a little bit. see if we can actually boost anything. Yep, Royal Marriage of Gujarat. Done. And maybe once we get out of a war, but I doubt it. That's somewhat irritating. We can reduce our distance between borders modifier pretty easily. Delhi, Arabia. Excellent, Cedar KR is done. Let's go down to Kabu. 
Ah, it is the end of the episode though, isn't it? Which is a shame. Let's just have a little more of a bit of a tug around with Gujarat to see if we can get him to do anything. I mean, they won't join in the alliance with us while we're sitting here at war with people. That just makes sense. I guess we'll deal with them later. Much like we'll deal with this war later, because, well, as I mentioned, it is the end of the episode. So, as usual, if you've got any questions or comments, leave them below, etc, etc, etc. And I have been Sub, you have been yourselves. Later!